Welcome back, Guardians. It's no secret that the current Crucible sandbox has been a controversial one. This is the first time since perhaps the Uriel's Gift meta that auto rifles have really dominated the Crucible, and it's quite clear that while many people are enjoying the current state of things, there are many that disapprove. Now I'm going to be straight with you. I definitely think that this meta has a lot of room to improve. Any time that you see a singular weapon accounting for 14% of all the kills in Crucible, there's definitely something that needs to be addressed. However, fixing imbalance in a PvP environment like Destiny's is no small task. I'm going to share with you my thoughts on how I think a part of this imbalance could be addressed. I'm not claiming to have all the answers, and I actually think it's probable that I'm wrong about some things considering the complexity of the issue. However, my hope is that I might be able to stimulate some good discussion on the matter. And also one more quick disclaimer, this assessment only applies to Destiny 2 on console. I'm not a PC player, so I'm by no means qualified to provide my thoughts on that platform. Alright, so it's obvious that these 600 round per minute auto rifles are very powerful right now. With just a time to kill of 0.7 seconds, they outpace some of the fastest killing primaries in Destiny's history. Not only that, but they are highly stable and have a solid amount of range to bring the ease of use to a very high level. Now a lot of people are claiming that these weapons are overpowered. I'm not convinced that this is the case, particularly because I think that fast killing primaries are actually very good for the game. In the current sandbox, I think that special weapons have a much more pronounced role than they should. After all, they are special weapons, and that implies that you should be using them for special scenarios. Or at least they should be used less frequently than your primary weapons, which should be the weapons that see primary usage. Fast killing primaries, like 600s, help to put special weapons back in their spot as true special weapons. However, when comparing 600 round per minute auto rifles to other primaries, I do see a problem. Now I'm not willing to compare auto rifles to things like pulse rifles, scout rifles, bows, and sidearms just yet, as those are intended for entirely different purposes within their respective ranges. But I do think it's important to take a closer look at hand cannons, which operate in the same range as auto rifles. I think that hand cannons in their current state are in a solid spot for maybe the top 5 or 10% of players, but for the rest of the community, auto rifles are by far the superior option. Just to illustrate this point, let's look at the pros and cons of using the current best archetype of hand cannon, the 150 round per minutes, over the 600 round per minute auto rifles. Beginning with the pros, 150s have better in-air accuracy than autos. They're also better at dealing high amount of damage in a short amount of time, which allows for things like peak shooting and quickly finishing off low health opponents. In the cons, they have a slower optimal time to kill by about 0.1 seconds. They also require much more accuracy. Missing a headshot with a hand cannon bumps the optimal time to kill up from 0.8 seconds to 1.2 seconds, whereas missing two headshots with a 600 will bump the time to kill up from 0.7 seconds to 0.8 seconds. In fact, landing all body shots with a 600 round per minute auto rifle will put you at a 1.2 second time to kill, which is the same as missing just one headshot with a 150. Hand cannons are also much more difficult to control because of their more pronounced recoil. Now there are probably a few things that I could add to this chart, but I think this captures the big things. Something that becomes very clear after taking a good look at this chart is that the benefit of using a 150 round per minute hand cannon only outweighs the benefit of using a 600 RPM auto rifle for maybe the top 10% of players because those players are better at utilizing things like cover and aerial shooting. For the bottom 90% of players, auto rifles are simply a better option. Now I have no problem with auto rifles being a better option for casual players. They are designed to be low risk weapons. However, I do see a problem when one weapon type dominates that mid-range for 90% of the community. So the question then becomes, how can hand cannons become more viable for players outside the top 10%? I think the answer lies in one of the most neglected hand cannon archetypes, 140s. 140 round per minute hand cannons in their current state do the exact same thing as 150s, but slower. With the time to kill, that's 0.07 seconds slower than 150s, 140 RPM hand cannons generally have the same range, same recoil patterns, and require the same number of headshots to reach an optimal time to kill as the 150s. Buffing 140s while still maintaining their current time to kill might incentivize players outside the top 10% to use hand cannons, while still maintaining the incentive for top tier players to use 150s. Buffing 140s could be done in a number of different ways, from adjusting their recoil to increasing their effective range. I'm personally in favor of the idea of buffing their impact such that their optimal time to kill can be reached with just two headshots and one body shot. 
Doing so would help compensate for the lower accuracy of players outside the top 10%, but in keeping the time to kill at 0.87 seconds, it maintains the incentive for top tier players to use 150s. This buff would also require a tuning of the 110 round per minute hand cannons, which currently have a 2 crit 1 body requirement for reaching optimal time to kill. In order to maintain the incentive to use 110s, I would either increase the effective range or buff the impact for a 1 headshot to body shot kill, similar to Destiny 1. However, I'm more in favor of the idea of buffing range, just because I don't want the skill floor being lowered too much for these hand cannons. So to summarize, these adjustments would allow 150s to perform well in the hands of top tier players, and the lowered accuracy requirement of 140s would incentivize lower skill players to use them for slightly less reward. All this would promote increased hand cannon usage in the Crucible, thus creating a healthier balance between auto rifles and hand cannons. Of course, this solution really only solves one piece of the puzzle, and while I'm relatively happy with the state of the Crucible, there are still many things that need solving. If you have any ideas on how to solve some of these issues, or perhaps an alternative method to achieving auto rifle hand cannon balance in the Crucible, please feel free to share in the comments. Well, that just about wraps up the video. I hope that you found my thoughts to be helpful. As always, Guardians, stay safe, and I hope to see you in the Crucible.